Hello friends, James Stevenson back with a fresh episode of Breakfast with Loki, most importantly. Uh, let me click through here and show you. Loki, anxiously anticipating breakfast. Let me grab that for him right now. And the topic of secondary importance. As I move the camera so you can see. Loki chowing down on his breakfast here. Man, he is really going after it. It's regular breakfast time. All right. Um, this is the topic of secondary importance today. Tesla full self-driving and robo-taxis. Uh, what kind of revenue is Tesla going to make? What kind of revenue are uh, Tesla owners operating robo-taxi fleets going to make if Tesla can ever figure out how to get the software right and how to get the ride-sharing network right. Right, Loki? Yes. I'm trying to cheat his, his head back into the frame here a little bit. Uh, there he is. He has powered through all of his breakfast. I'll go ahead and uh, leave it on the Loki cam long enough to feed him his reward for eating all of his food. You're a good boy, buddy. Let's grab your treat. Yes. Oh, what a happy dog. What a happy dog. What a good boy. Yes. I love you, buddy. Okay. So that's his excitement for this morning. Uh, but your excitement is just beginning, as I share my desktop with you. You can keep an eye on Loki and the Loki's bed cam here below me as I turn my attention to this thread that I began just telling you how many vehicles Tesla had produced as of March 29th when they announced that they had cumulatively made 6 million vehicles inception to date. According to my records, which are unofficial, that put them just shy of 425,000 vehicles produced so far in Q1 of 2024. Uh, the number uh, for of deliveries may be around that number, or maybe it won't be. We'll find out when Tesla reports the number on the morning of April 2nd, uh, which is typically uh, when that number comes out. So somebody asked me, James, do you have any videos modeling a robo-taxi scenario or FSD revenue? I'd like to see your take on it. Thanks. I had to reply, my earnings model has never included any Tesla bot or robo-taxi revenue, only the assumption that Tesla FSD revenue will grow over time. Right, Loki? It's so funny. Oh. I didn't mean to startle you, buddy. You were just bumping into the camera. Uh, all right, you're okay, little guy. Hunting around, looking for crumbs. All right, uh, maybe consider a RoboTaxi model soon. I'd love to see it. I said I need to make one, and I will. And the purpose of this video is me showing you what I'll be using uh, to uh, think through how I want to model FSD robo-taxi revenue when I do uh, start incorporating that. Yeah, no Tesla bot. Even though Tesla may soon be uh, benefiting from Tesla bot, uh, if they can get it to do useful work on assembly lines at factories, etc. in the near future, uh, that's going to be a drag on profitability as it's a big research and development spend for the team working on getting that bot going. But man, if they can solve how to get that bot to learn how to do useful work uh, easily and to perform that work for extended periods of time, wow, that's going to be a valuable product uh, and a significant cash contributor to Tesla in the future that I'll need to figure out how to model for my system. But uh, I've stalled long enough. Uh, I think uh, many waiting to see your number crunching on this. Too many unknowns variables at the moment, so would understandably be very speculative to begin with. Yes, it's not easy to predict what the robo-taxi revenue would be. Uh, I said, in the meantime, you may want to check out the approach CERN Basher took if you don't follow him. And CERN replied with this, Thanks, James. I'm sure your model will blow mine out of the water. I'm not so sure. 
Uh, can't wait to see it and learn from the master, uh, he, he said in a very complimentary tone, uh, perhaps undeservedly so. Here's my most recent discussion with Herbert Ong, writer with Herbert on my RoboTaxi model. I need to get back on Herbert's channel again. Uh, it's been too long since we talked. But yeah, this video is over an hour long of CERN Basher walking you through a long PowerPoint deck with lots of charts that are sharp looking charts uh, in most cases, showing what a RoboTaxi future might look like by the numbers and what kind of value that business division could contribute to the Tesla overall P&L and the market valuation of Tesla as a company. So go check out that video. Uh, I'll hit the play button on it real quick, just so you can see what it looks With like. With FSD at some point, whether it's version 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever it is, whenever it is, it will eventually turn your depreciating machine into a money printing machine. The vehicle could make you 10,000 a year, 20,000 a year, 30,000 a year, who knows? Even if you have no intention of putting your car in a robo-taxi network, what, what's going to happen is... That's the most recent... All right, uh, I'll finish his thought for him. What's going to happen is the, the value the market places on hardware three or better Teslas uh, is going to increase because robo-taxi fleet operators are going to want to buy Teslas capable of full self-driving. And even if you don't want your Tesla to be one of those, you might be able to sell it to somebody who wants to add your Tesla to the RoboTaxi network in the future. Now, we don't know what the timing is on this, but if you're interested in watching a video where somebody has thought through the problem of how to value those revenues and those costs, to see what kind of contribution margin a uh, RoboTaxi future might have for Tesla and for RoboTaxi network operators. That's the video for you, and of course, I will leave a link in the video description and as a comment to this video on X. And that is our video for today. So with that, uh, having seen Loki polish off his breakfast, uh, I will restore the Loki spot cam to its uh, place on the dining room table where I record my YouTube videos. <laughs> and uh, I will remind you to click the like button on this video if you liked this video, uh, whether for Loki eating his breakfast or for CERN Basher. Uh, very quickly uh, uh, talking a little bit about his RoboTaxi valuation model. Uh, which I think you should go check out if that interests you. And uh, with that, I will thank my two executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com, along with everyone who supports me, whether you're doing that on X or on Patreon or by joining my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one.